Hey guys, good afternoon. Andrew out here to Hilly Haven Golf Course. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. In this week's tip, we're talking about the flip, what it looks like, what style of contact looks like, and a, and a drill we can do to make sure that we are not flipping the golf ball, but we're striking it well with compression and a stable spin, which will create a stable ball flight. All right, so here is one of my favorite drills, and I actually do this about uh, 10, 15 times, just getting warmed up to make sure I'm, I'm leaning the shaft forward at impact, not letting my, my club outrace my hands and, and making sure that I'm pulling that club through the swing and not pushing it through the swing. Uh, we wanna pull it, if you've, ever, if you've ever backed up a trailer or if you've ever tried to, to push a dresser across the carpet, you know that pulling something is much easier to control uh, that object versus pushing it. And here's the deal with the golf swing is the moment that that golf club passes our hands, we are no longer in control of it. If this is 90 degrees and this is zero, when our club and our arm are straight in line, the moment that we go past zero, we, we're not controlling that golf club. Um, so what I like to do is I, I like to set up and, and hit just a few 10, 15 short shots, and I'll create that 90 degrees, and then I'll make sure impact is at zero with my golf club and my arm straight in line with each other and then I'm gonna finish at zero. So I don't let this breakdown of this wrist happen, which causes the flip, which causes bad contact. Um, so here's what that looks like, 90 degrees to zero to zero. And that's pretty solid contact, but I want you to notice, I want you to pay special attention to where I finished and the fact that I didn't go past zero. So uh, I'm gonna show you a down the line view of what solid contact looks like, what striking the golf ball looks like versus a flip. All right, so here I'm gonna hit one shot with flippy contact and one shot with good contact. And we're gonna take a look at the difference in ball flights and talk about those. Uh, so here's flippy. That's where I let my club out race my hands and notice it, it takes off really high. Um, and it, and it, uh, it lands, there's no real spin on it. Uh, there's no green stopping control on that. It's kind of a weak ball flight if we're playing in the wind. It's really gonna be influenced by that wind versus if we lean that shaft forward and we, we don't flip and we don't go past zero until long after we've ever hit the golf ball, it's gonna take off a lot more gradual and then it's gonna climb and then fall with some good amount of spin to be able to hold those greens. So here's what solid contact looks like. So that was on a trajectory like this versus that flip went straight up. Um, and that one, I actually didn't even take that uh, solid of a divot. Um, but when we are pulling that golf club through the swing, that's a good example of where our misses still fly down our target line. So I wanna show you one with, with uh, a good divot along with it. There we go. It takes off like a missile, uh, but still you, you, when you watch tour pros hitting out on the range, their ball climbs, it doesn't launch straight up right off the get-go. So encourage you, try that drill. Uh, make sure we are not, not letting that club out race our hands too fast. Make sure we're pulling that golf club through the swing with a forward-leaning shaft, and you'll be a better ball striker for it. So appreciate you guys watching this week's tip. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll look forward to seeing you all again next week.